What's up, everyone? This is Velarde. Have you ever just been like, man, just trying to make a beat and you get stuck on these small things that just take forever and ever to learn? You're looking all throughout YouTube. You can't find the answer. And then you just don't want to make a beat. Well, you came to the right place because I'm about to show you some important tips that help you move faster when you're making beats. Let's get to the video. All right, so first we're just gonna start with some random notes. I'm just gonna put them in. Now to scroll over this, you press command and command, hold down the command, hold down your mouse, don't let go. And then go like that. Same thing with the trackpad. You can press shift, hold down shift, click. Don't uh, let go of the click button either. And then just drag over. Or you can um, press command A or control A. Press command B or control B and that copies it over too. And if you just pe keep pressing control B, command B it'll just paste a whole bunch there a tool that was really bothering me when I didn't know how to do it and sometimes I didn't want to always just do this with the shift and you know you can also press command a or just command and scroll over and press command C and command V and then that'll put that'll paste it command C for copy command V to paste and then just drag it over it's up to you and say like if these notes are not full enough and you want to make them all longer you don't have to go like this with every single one of them you know, and just move it in and you don't have to do that. Instead, you can just press command or control L and that will do legato. Now it doesn't do it for the last one. All you got to do is just move that. That's just a common thing that I've noticed. Like say if I go back here and say if you ever have um, notes that are overlapped, it's the same button you would press, the same buttons, command and L and it will do that. But you see how, because it's overlapped, this note is longer. The next thing as well, if you're trying to just loop stuff, I'm just gonna play something. And nothing's playing because it's on the sampler, so that means empty. If you see this right here, and it's playing until this, but say you want it to just stop right here. If you just press Command, and then click up here, hold down the Command or the Control button, if you're a PC, it's control, click this, make sure you're the click on your mouse, you're holding down or the trackpad on your computer and drag over with your trackpad or your mouse. And now you've created a loop where you want it to be now, but make sure you're clicking this and this is online. You don't want it on none because you're, you'll think cause you're looking far away. It's not zoomed in. You'll think from far away that when you're doing this, if it's on none, that'll be on the line but it'll actually be a little off and that can throw off your entire beat. So make sure this is online. And also how to zoom in. Um, people will do things like just going to this bar right here and just kind of going like this to zoom in. You don't have to do that. You press command or control and you scroll down to zoom in or you scroll up to zoom out. If you have a trackpad, I was just talking about this with one of my followers, you use your trackpad and you just press in with your fingers like on the trackpad or out and that will zoom in and zoom out. The next thing we're gonna talk about is just moving stuff up and down. So if you wanna just go down one little semi, one little thing like that, one little notch, you just press shift and you go down. Or shift up and I mean up with the arrows on your keyboard and you just do that. If you want to go up a whole octave from here, it says D4. If you want to go all the way up to D5, you press command or control. Command for Mac, PC is control. And you press command up or control up, and it'll go up from D4 to D5. Command down will do the same thing. And now, if you want to, if you played in a note or something on the keyboard, and let's say that it's off right here, and you want it to actually start here, you just highlight it by pressing command and scroll over. And then you just press shift and use the left arrow on your key, on your you use the left arrow on your keyboard and then just go like that. Now you can press the right arrow and do that as well or up or down, it's up to you, but make sure you're pressing shift. When you're doing up a whole octave, it's command or control. Also, if you have something highlighted, right, and it's highlighted too far, you don't have to just like stop and restart again. Actually, what you can do is you can press control and then you can click. It might be different for people with PC because they use control for command and I have control here on my Mac. So it may be option actually for you or alt. Try that or shift. It's either one of those. And you just click this from this end. Click from the far end. You don't want to if you want it to be here, you don't do that because you, if you want it to stop there to loop because it'll do the opposite. 
So what I recommend, I'm going to press command or control and just drag back out. Start from the end if you want to minimize the loop and press control, hold down the click button this whole time and just slide with your mouse until you get to your to the area you want it to be at. Now, when you're down in the mixer, if you want to solo something, just press S. And if you want to put everything back, you just press S again. Now, if we go to the channel rack and let me just put up something random now because I know I need something else. <clears throat> if you go to the channel rack and you want to solo this now, you can easily just press this and it'll solo like the same thing in the mixer. But if you have like 50 tracks, you don't want to literally go through and just that would take so long. So instead, you just if you want to highlight everything, you just click. You when something's highlighted, I would start from the top if you want to highlight everything and then just click and it'll highlight all of your sounds. Now, if you want to just highlight, let me open something else up again, just because I want to show you. If you don't want to highlight the top one, but you only want to highlight certain ones, you press shift, and then you hold down shift and click the other one. So that way it won't highlight all of them. And I just highlight it all by just double clicking without any shift. So when it comes to if you don't want to solo and mute all those 50 tracks, all you got to do is press shift, and click the ones that you want, or if you want all of them, just start from the top and then click again. And you so you can just click once, click again. Then you go to this arrow right here and it'll pull up this and you go to mute selected. And because I had those all selected, now they're muted. Now if I want to um, unmute them, you just do unmute selected. Also, if you want to just put a sound in, I'm literally going to just take this sound and put it here. And notice how if I put this sound instead of in the channel rack, I put it here first. It'll make it an audio file. So if I look here in unsorted, that's really where the patterns are if you drag them into the, the channel rack first. But the one that I just put into the playlist first, that is actually an audio file. And if you want to see all of them, you just press all. Now, it's literally just because I put it in the playlist first instead of putting it here. So let me put something else as an example. So now we're going to put something else up. But instead, we're going to put it here in the playlist underneath this. So now look, there's two things in the audio files now. And this is the pattern, which is pattern is what's in the channel rack here. But it's not the audio. It's when it's in the unsorted. That's the pattern. Now, audio files is these two things because I drag them into the playlist instead of the channel rack first. This is for automation clips. But we'll get to that in another video. All right, guys. So thank you for watching. I hope these tips helped you to move faster when you make your beats. This video will be here. So continue to come back and check out this video if you need to remember these tips. If you like this video, give it a like. Comment underneath what you liked about it and other videos you want to see next and how this has helped you. And I'll see you on the next video.